Time now for a full look at the forecast and Juan standing by with the latest news that you need to know before heading out the door. Juan. <laughs> and you need to know that uh, we have the dryer that was in place over the weekend. We had a little bit yesterday and that's slowly beginning to go away for us here. We're taking a live look right now over into Rockport looking at the uh, Rockport Marina and it's still quite a comfortable morning for us here. I just don't want you to get used to it because the humidity is going to be back on the rise, but a pretty nice start over there. 67 degrees. We have calm winds across the area. In fact, as we take a look at temperature all across the region. We have 50s, 60s and 70s. We're holding on to the 50s over in Kingsville, 72 out at the Naval Air Station in Flower Bluff, 68 off in uh, Robstown and still holding on to the lower 60s for our friends over into the Alice area. So the weather story for today is that we'll have more high cloudiness across the coastal bend and we're certainly going to get warmer as well. Yesterday we managed the lower 80s and this afternoon we'll be looking for the mid 80s and by the time we head towards Wednesday on into the end of the week, we'll be pushing the upper 80s. So each day we're going to continue to get uh, warmer out there and each day the humidity is going to continue to rise across the region as well. Now as we head on into the weekend, there is a very weak frontal boundary that will stall just north of the uh, coastal bend and that's going to lead to just a few stray weekend uh, showers for us here, but there'll be a coastal in nature and stray in nature as well. Not looking at a whole lot of activity. I just want to point out that they'll be out there and the tropics continue to be quiet across the region, so that is certainly some good news. In fact, as we uh, take a look at the tropics right now, as uh, we move off over towards the uh, tropical outlook, the Gulf of Mexico is quiet. So is the Caribbean and the entire Atlantic Basin from uh, essentially from the uh, Leeward and the Windward Islands all the way towards the continent of Africa is looking pretty good. It's still no tropical development is expected in the next five days. Don't forget you can always head over to ChrisTV.com slash weather and click on that Hurricane Center tab and get all the information there on a hurricane season that goes until the end of November. Now right back here at home as we talk about the hourly forecast, we're going to have some high clouds in place for today and even some mid-level clouds as well, but still the uh, sunshine will be peeking out every now and then is that and as that happens, the temperatures will rise into those middle 80s across the region with east southeasterly winds a little bit more breezier than yesterday. Not bad though, only going to about 10 to 15 miles per hour. In fact, we see it here on the uh, wind forecast. They begin to pick up at noon and that southeasterly flow right at about 10 to 15 by five o'clock. Those will relax as we go into tomorrow morning and then as we head into the afternoon hours, those will calm down once again, only going to about six to 12 over most of South Texas. So there's the cloud coverage. These clouds were off in West Texas yesterday and we talked about them coming over our region into the overnight hours and that's already what's happening now. Frontal boundary over into the four corners area has a little bit of some cool air to work with. In fact, behind the front temperatures are in the 30s and 40s. What it doesn't have is the upper level support to make it all the way down into South Texas. The upper level disturbance associated with this is already moving into the central plains instead of digging further down to the south. If this was digging further down to the south, we'd have another frontal boundary to talk about, but unfortunately it'll stall north of the region. It'll give us a few stray showers as we head into the weekend, but not going to clear us as temperatures remain warm into the middle to upper 80s and overnight lows in the 70s. Paula. All right, not too bad. Thank you for that, Juan.